Hi and welcome to the Nucleus Nail channel. Sorry I didn't do a video in a long time, been really busy, still am. So I'm gonna be recording short and uncut videos like this, where I'm gonna be talking about uh, a particular design topic, um, mostly character design and uh, costume and prop design, but also uh, general design um, uh, rules or tricks and tools. So today's topic is um, rest areas in detail areas. Let's check it out. Okay, so what we have here is basically a bunch of pictures I have collected. Not all of them are my artworks. Some of them are from my buddies, like this is uh, Ron from Ron's Rusty Gear. This is Kitso von Issen, or I hope I pronounce it right. I need to work on my American accent to pronounce it right. Anyway, um, the links to the other people you can find in the description of the video. So today's topic is uh, detail areas and rest areas, especially in outfits. So uh, the first thing to know about this is um, that outfits, uh, costumes, are wearable artworks by definition, because you know, you're not wearing something like uh, this or something like this uh, just for its function. You're wearing it as fashion, as costume, so it is basically a wearable artwork. And uh, costumes being artworks, in general, wearable or not, um, means that the same uh, design tools can be applied to them. Uh, and those design tools are um, based in the core fundamentals of design. Uh, not in the sense like Feng Zhu talks about them, but uh, more in the sense of uh, general design rules which uh, you can observe in nature, uh, which you can observe in technical stuff and so on and so forth. Okay, I probably confused you by now, so let's get right into it. So detail areas and rest areas. Let's open up this picture in Photoshop and I will demonstrate to you what I mean by that. So this is a jacket which I did like a month ago and uh, yeah, if you look at it, at first um, sight you might notice uh, there is maybe not a huge ton of detail going on, but there is still a pretty decent amount of detail going on. Uh, I consider this to be somewhere uh, mid to high detailing range, at least for my works. So, um, and it's uh, kind of hard at first for many people uh, who just are starting out with the design um, stuff be it costume design or character design in ZBrush or wherever else, uh, to um, see what's exactly going on with the details. So the important part is, if you give it a closer look, then you will notice that some areas, like this right here, are extremely detailed. Here, let's just mark that really fast, like lots of detail, here is also some detail, here is also a bit detail. Um, while other areas, like for example here, it's almost completely blank, it's clean. And not clean in the sense that, um, you know, it's new or something, it's uh, torn and dirty, yes. But uh, there is not much going on uh, in those areas design-wise. Look at those sleeves, like there is nothing going on there, it's uh, just that default um, default webbing or um, default uh, fabric of the jacket. Well, if you look here, there is really a lot going on. Let's get into the side view. So, uh, same, sto same story here. Uh, if you look at this large leather area right here, there is not much going on here. It's a rest area. This is the rest area. And uh, right here, you can see more going on. Like, you see, uh, you know, those um, folds in the gas mask hose, that's a gas mask hose I used there, um, and this kind of detail and so on, and uh, the same story here. Here is a lot of detail going on, and here is not so much, it, it is just the, the full fabric. Uh, so why are, uh, why is balancing detail areas and rest areas so important? Um, well, first of all, you don't have to balance those. You can make an entire artwork, uh, be it a jacket or be it a drawing or of a jacket or uh, whatever really. Uh, you can make uh, anything 
entirely full of detail and it has its own aesthetic. I mean, I'm just cheaply copy pasting this right here with, with the clone tool in Photoshop, but you know, this would also look kind of cool. That would be a different design language than the one I uh, used on this particular artwork, but uh, this uh, would also probably look not bad. I mean, I wouldn't design it like this because I'm more of a clean Apple design kind of guy, um, but you can do it. So the first thing to know about this uh, rule in quotation marks, uh, it is not really as much of a rule as it is a tool. As in, you you can be aware, aware of um, those things going on and use them to your advantage to design the sort of look you're going after. So if you want the look where uh, your entire outfit is completely loaded with detail, uh, go for it. Um, what I'm using uh, in uh, actually almost all of my artworks and what really, really many people are using is, again, those uh, balanced detail areas and rest areas. In this one, again, you can see that, um, you know, the skin on us both is, um, it's almost blank. Yes, it's dirty and so on, but uh, compared the amount of detail going on in that uh, shrug right here or um, right there um, on her top or in the skirt or anywhere else and compare it to the amount of visual load of the uh, overall visual load happening on the skin on the skin nothing almost nothing at all is happening and um, this logo we got right here it uh, gets so much more power because it's surrounded by rest areas so, uh, th this is again your typical Apple scenario. All of you beginners out there listening to this, um, wanting to learn design fundamentals and costuming and whatnot, before you start your Mad Max inspired um, uh, wasteland looking distressed outfit, go have a look at, a, at an iPod or a iPhone or whatever, anything from Apple. I'm not an Apple fanboy, I only have one Apple keyboard which I hacked to work on my PC because I'm using a PC it, it doesn't really matter to me but you know I'm not an Apple fanboy I'm just understanding how much a simplistic design is uh, powerful or can be powerful because again those uh, design fundamentals they apply to post-apocalyptic costumes as they apply to steampunk costumes as they apply to uh, non-costume artworks uh, to anything look at this uh, this is by Stroje Postapo a Polish designer, uh, really talented, really powerful. Um, and if you look at this, uh, you probably by now can recognize the large rest area of this bone right here. Like a rest area, it doesn't have to be passive, you know. There is still something going on. There is some sleek, nice geometry going on right here. But then again, it's balanced out uh, with those incredibly dense detail areas. Like he's added some red rope right here and some bluish grayish rope and then you get stuff right there. And, uh, you know, it's all balanced out. So, um, what the rest areas allow you to do, why I like using them so much in my artworks and why I consider designs with the rest areas more visually pleasing, uh, it's two things. First, uh, it creates a contrast in detailing. And so the detail, uh, which is going on in the detail areas of the artwork gains more power. It, it is not only the case uh, when you place a logo like this uh, somewhere on something more blank, more mm, relaxed, peaceful. It is also the case if you have large surfaces like this is one large surface with detail and uh, this is one large surface without detail if we put it to the, um, say it in an extreme way. So, in comparison, this makes the detailed area look even more detailed. So, uh, in fact, this uh, outfit uh, looks much more detailed this way, having a rest area right here and right here, uh, as it would if I had just loaded it all. Or, uh, you know, look at her. Imagine that uh, other factors aside, like of course, uh, this is also a successful design because, you know, uh, people love seeing a beautiful woman's geometry. Uh, but uh, also, you can appreciate the detail 
in the rest areas uh, in the detail areas much more if you implement rest areas uh, same goes um, let's say here this is really not a loaded artwork the, there is not so much going on it's basically a leather jacket with a few uh, well positioned belts and um, the most detail is actually going on in this area whoops on this gas mask right so this is where the detail is happening and uh, you recognize this area as important, as um, powerful, as uh, having a large impact because there are these large peaceful rest areas of the leather jacket. Like now, Im let, let's do a fast experiment, like uh, don't expect this be f perfect Photoshop wise, but let's copy paste this star all over the fucking place. doesn't matter that it's not attached properly or whatever, you know, just uh, try looking at this as an abstract artwork. And now that you have this star all over the place, uh, the original one that is supposed to draw attention, supposed to be the central design element, isn't doing anything much anymore. So if everything is detailed, nothing is detailed. Uh, again, it can be its own aesthetic, as shown before. Uh, so if you're going for the really completely overloaded look, it's perfectly fine. Just, you know, when designing your artworks, be aware of this principle of design areas versus rest areas existing and use it to your advantage to achieve the sort of artworks which you would like to achieve. Okay, I hope this video was useful to you, especially to the ones of you who stand at the beginning of their um, careers or their hobbies, the ones of you uh, wanting to learn more about um, design, um, outfit creation and so on and so forth. I'm gonna be doing more uncut chaotic videos like this. Uh, I'll try to keep it up regularly. So um, until next time, hail the snail.